What's up America? Tony from The Real American Outdoors here and today we're going to be smoking beer can chicken. Alright, so we have our chicken here, as you can see, it's not that big. It's only about a five pound or so chicken. So the first step we are going to do is actually just pat down all the excess moisture off the outside of the chicken. This way, when we uh, apply our binder, if you will, we'll be able to stick better as opposed to absorbing this moisture. Also want to make sure there's nothing in the cavity here. I already cleaned it out and there wasn't really much anything in there. All right, so now for our binder, what we are going to do is use, this is some Pam cooking spray. I know I touched raw hands on this. I'm gonna wash this afterward, but all we're gonna do is just spray it down. And then we're gonna use our rub. This is just a Carolina style rub. I really like it on er, like on pork and chicken. You can use it on beef too, but chicken and pork are really my favorites to use it on. Just gonna pat it in a little. You can really use as much as you want to cover it. Flip it over, do the same process. hit those legs and those wings too and then lastly what I'm going to do is throw a bunch in the cavity here get that down in there cool I'm just gonna go back over where I touched and that's really it for the seasoning process I'm not gonna do much else maybe just do this thigh right here, thigh over here, but that's really all I'm doing for seasoning process. Uh, next we're going to fire up the smoker, uh, I'll show you what type of wood we're using, and then once we do that we're going to be uh, putting the beer can uh, in the cavity and we'll show you how we do that in just a minute. Alright, so the beer we're using today is Bush Light. You can use whatever beer you want. I recommend just using the cheaper light beer because you're just using it for the beer flavor and not necessarily the taste of the beer itself. So what you're going to do is crack it in and immediately drink about a quarter to a third of it. Alright, and then next I'm just going to empty a bunch of this seasoning into the beer can here to essentially fill in what we just drank because this the moisture in here is just going to slowly evaporate and we want some flavor to evaporate on with it. All right, for this next part, this is our beer can chicken holder. Uh, there's many holders out there whether you buy them on Amazon or at the store. If you want to use a holder, you can. I recommend it's easier, but if you don't have one just want to stand it up with the can, you can do that as well, but this is just going to be easier for cooking and transport. So this one, this just comes apart at the top here. Then we're going to take our can, just put it in the middle, and it'll hold our can nicely in there. And now there's really no exact science to this part. It's just we're just going to pick up the bird and put it over the can. And then lastly, I'm just going to finish this off. We're just going to throw some more seasoning on some of the parts I couldn't really get to where the bird was sitting. There's not much left, so I'm just going to dump the end. All right, as you can see, we got this on our master built smoker. Today we're using the electric smoker, and the wood chips we're going to be using is Western Premium Barbecue Products Cherry Barbecue Smoking Wood Chips. I like using kind of fruity flavors for chicken. I think it complements the meat well. Uh, so we're going to be rocking at 275 degrees. As you can see, we got a probe in, which is 
currently at 57 degrees, which makes sense because it was kind of coming out of the fridge. So we're just gonna close her up and cook her to internal temp of 165 degrees. All right, guys, we are now at 135 degrees. Usually I like to check it between 130 and 140 to see what our temperature is and see what our skin color is looking like. We've got a nice golden brown going on here, so I'm just gonna probably uh, wrap it up a little bit. Um, if you wanna keep that skin color, if you want a little darker, go ahead and leave it unwrapped. So I'm just gonna wrap it up quick and then once we hit 165, we're gonna take it off the smoker and see how she looks. All right, we took her off the smoker. We hit our internal temps at 165. Just a quick recap what we did. So when we first took our bird out of the package, we took all the uh, giblets or innards out. We also patted it down and then we applied our binder, which was our olive oil cooking spray. We then applied our barbecue style dry rub. I just used a uh, mom and pop dry rub and you can use whatever rub you want. Uh, optional to inject, I chose not to inject. I usually don't with beer can chicken because you are using beer as your main liquid that's gonna be evaporating throughout the bird. Uh, we opened our beer and drank about a quarter to a third of it, added more seasoning in the beer as well as in the cavity of the chicken. We then put it in our beer can chicken holder, as you can see I still have it there. Um, to, then we put in the smoker for at 275, this one took about an hour and a half to hit temps. You'll sometimes hit a stall at about 150 with these chickens, but you only go in the 165 so you're not trying to break a huge stall. So now that it's off, there's really no exact science to get it off. You just kind of get it off the best you can. Just make sure to be careful because that can is still hot because as it was, you know, kind of somewhat not quite boiling the beer, but it's still water that's, you know, at 275 degrees. So just be careful. Don't burn yourself. So this is a very simple recipe. Anyone can do it at home. It doesn't matter what kind of smoker you have. But thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Also check us out on realamericanoutdoors.com where you can find links to our Spreadshirt store for all our apparel, as well as the American Fishing Challenge through Tourney X. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.